Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another beer review with your host, Jonathan Brown. Right, hello boys and girls, welcome to another beer review. We are off to America, over the pond. We are going to um, Lagunitas and we have a can of their, I'm mean, looking forward to this one, 12th of Never Ale. There you go boys and girls. Super smashing great, there you go, I'll give you the I'll give it a twelve for you. There's that dog, the old famous Lagunitas dog. There you go. Five point five percent ABV. This uh, may look the dog's bollocks. As the river sticks froze and the final pig took flight. River sticks. That was in the song, wasn't it? When the last winged monkey departed the darkly fragrant Netherlands. As wishes became horses and all the beggars rode. This sounds a bit heavy. Under newly blued moon at the dawn on the very 12th of never, the second to last craft brewery in America pressed the green star button on their canning line. We wanted to be the last small brewer in the US to can their beer. And maybe finally by now we are. I think the first one was Dale's, was it? Dale's Pale Ale, um, Oscar Blues, I think it was, murder me in the comments. Um, the 12th of Never Ale is everything we've learned about making hot forward beer, expressed in a moderate voice, pale, cold and bitter, it's all we know. So, yeah, it looks quite impressive this, it's not giving me anything about the hops, um, I'll give it another 12 for you, there you go. The IPA, I love Lagunitas IPA, I think it's a cracker, when, whether, I mean, weather spoons, always look out for it. Um, I don't see it around much lately in the shops, but it's a cracking beer, that. So, let's crack the ring, see what greets me. That smells gorgeous, it, it smells lovely, juicy lime fruit salad pop of fruit salad it is kind of like picking up mandarin nectarine juicy fruits you know making your mouth water if you know what I mean real juiciness she smells the dog's bollocks that's probably like his bollocks <laughs> I'm gonna Let's pour out anyway. Um, I think this is going to be a cracker. It's come out pale gold, and I must admit, uh, boys and girls, give me a round of applause for pouring that out like that. That is, I've done a good job on that. I, I'm very, very, very proud of that pour. Pale, pale gold, lovely fluffy head dissipating, going down nice and gently. Slightly subsided in the aroma from the can, um, not much so, he's still picking up all them fruity, citrusy, hoppy characters which we all know and love. The only way now is to give it a go, so boys and girls, cheers, I'm going to go in. Bang on. That's nice. Um, it's not too bitter, actually. It, it, it said something about the bitterness on the can. Um, it hasn't got an IBU rating on this. I was expecting something a lot more bitter. It says pale, cold and bitter is, is, is all we know. Pale, not that cold. Bitter. Yeah, but it's not overtly bitter. It's not like someone shoved a dagger in your throat full of bitterness. It really is a pleasant bitterness. You know, it's a balancing bitterness, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go in again. Front end, you're getting the bitterness. Then again, lovely little hoppy notes. Orange, apricot, 
and it's it, it, it's quite thick. There's an un, there's an undercount of thinness there about this beer, which yeah, five point five. It's 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 not you know it's getting on. You know, it's quite strong in a way, um, which gives it a sessionable quality. There's 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 kind of like a nice lightness feel to this beer, which gives it a sessionable quality, which. Um, you'd find it quite quite satisfying and pleasant to drink a shitload of them, if you know what I mean. Um, it's It's got that type of character about it. It is a really nice beer, it is. It's, it's cracking. I'm going to go in again. As you're going in, the bitterness just drops slightly, and you start to get a little bit more fruitness, a little bit more kiwi. Mandarin, orange, apricot, all that type of thing going on, and it, on the back end, slight hint of dryness, a little bit of thinness there, a little bit of wateriness, not much, but it's very, very pleasant. It does complement the beer really, really well, and I have to say, boys and girls, that is a cracking beer. That is a lovely beer, lovely beer. One more for the road. Anything else? Just really, really nice. Boys and girls, absolute pleasure this one. Lagunitas, 12th of Never Ale. Highly, highly recommend that. Go out now, buy it, enjoy it. Let me know. Murder me in the comments if I've got it wrong. I don't think I have on that one, but, you know, we're all different at the end of the day. See you, boys and girls, on my next one. And you there, you, next time, turn up on time. See you later.